Hi, this is Dennis Blevins, and I'm with Coach the Bible, which is a training tool website called CoachTheBible.com. And as you've come into this website, we wanted you to be able to see both the stories of people's lives, but also the uh, training that's available in Coach the Bible. And so one of my uh, dear friends and in our neighborhood is Alan Donna, and she's been in her journey uh, coming through a lot of big bumps in the road. And if you're interested in her story, it'll be over in the first section of the website. Uh, what we call the uh, the dead section, where you're dead in your trespasses and sins, but or another description is the lost. Jesus came to seek and save the lost, and so there's a story about how Jesus pursued Ellen and brought her to himself, and how she then has come to a place where she wants to grow, and so Coach the Bible is designed to be a training tool, a tool in which you can take a look at where you are in your journey, and then uh, where do you want to go, and what are your steps, and so I'm going to illustrate with Alan some of those things. So, Alan, thanks so much for being with us today, and uh, it's been great to have you as a neighbor and be a part of your journey and growth. Yes, it's been nice to have you be a part of my journey and growth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun how God orchestrates all this stuff, and I think he can do that with every single one of us. Sometimes, though, we're not quite sure where we are in our own journey and what is our next step. And so part of the coach idea of the Bible is that you're looking at where you are now. So the question is, where's Alan now? Or where was Alan two years ago? Where did Alan want to go? That's the, the intended future. And what are steps? So as you see the little brand there, there's some stairways. So the idea is, where's your steps? And so that's what this is designed to do is to teach you how to find out where someone else is and where to take the next step or for your own self, to take a look at your own life, where you are in your steps and what's your next step. So what we're gonna do is illustrate uh, some of the first steps. So if you, I'm gonna share this, Alan, on uh, lines, you're gonna see the website come up and uh, I'm gonna then walk you through the website as if I was training you how to use it. And so you should be able to see the website there. Can you see that okay with the Bible? Yes, yes. Okay. And so in the website, you'll notice that across the top is there's an about and then there's stages and etc. But what we're going to aim at is these stages. And the first thing we're going to have to do in, in current reality is to look at where we are. And so when you look at where you are, uh, we have a little video where I'm explaining these assessments. And as you scroll down in these assessments, you see there's the infant, the child, the adult, the parent. And when you look at those stages, this is a tool called the spiritual assessment stage. And just recently, I showed you this stage and you saw this document. And as you look at this, you see these stages of spiritual maturity. And then everybody is somewhere where they don't know anything about that area. They're learning, they're understanding, they're getting stronger, they're convinced. And so as you saw where you were in your journey long ago, and then you came to Christ and you began to move through here. Uh, and kind of what was your impression as you look at these stages of growth? What goes on in your thinking as you see those? Anything that kind of stands out to you as to where you Todd, are? I always thought that I knew God. You know, I had read the Bible for the last 28 years daily, but I never understood the Bible. Right. And so as we have went through these books, I have learned that all I was doing was getting milk. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I... Uh, I know that when I first started going to church four years ago, I would sit in the pew and warm the bench, but mm -hmm. I was really enjoying listening to the word of God being taught because he, they teach right out of the Bible. And when you invited me to come and do this, I thought, well, I'm probably not going to be very good at it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'll give it a shot because because I wanted to learn I yep. wanted to know the Bible and what it means and what God has in store for us yeah it's very good you were and, teachable and you were available and you were faithful and we showed you this book called growing in Christ and then we showed you this one called growing strong and it's the Navigator 2.7 series, and we started to work on that. But what that does in that particular study is it starts to work on 
several areas of our life. And so when you think of the child stage or the infant stage, uh, that's where you can start. Mm -hmm. And so there's an assessment that looks like this. And so I, I showed you that assessment. And uh, sometimes if you show it too early to somebody, it's just overwhelming. So I didn't really show you this right at the beginning uh, because it might've been like, good grief. <laughs> look, look at all these things that I'm gonna be learning. So I didn't show you this right away, but I just showed it to you recently. And you went through each of these areas, which deal with, I'm sure of my salvation, which you memorize this verse. I trust God to answer my prayers. God will help me with temptations. I know I'm forgiven. I'm committed to understanding. And you scored a five on every one of those items as we went through that. And you got, and you, and what did you think when you were hitting fives as you were looking at all that? I was shocked. <laughs> Because when I, I looked at this, I know you didn't show it to me, but I knew it was on this website. And I, I printed it out and I could not fill it out because yeah. I didn't know any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was all new to you. And so by, by going through here, uh, by using the uh, two seven series, we began to cover all these items. And we began to, I'm uh, reading a daily devotional. So you started into your daily devotional because of the tool that was there. Convinced the Bible's true. Commitment Jesus asking me is clear. And all those things were really solid. And so that told me that you're discovering more about yourself than you knew at the time. <laughs> you're going, whoa, these are definitely in there. And it was fun to watch your reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was amazed. And what did you say? I said, wow, I know more than I thought. <laughs> and you actually said, I'm not a baby anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, I, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a baby anymore. So let me, let's illustrate for those who are kind of watching this is as you did the convictions, this is the child stage you're dealing with here. A conviction is something you believe so much you practice it. It's not just a good idea, you know, it's something I want to practice in my life. Well, these are things you are wanting to practice in your life. And as you move through here, you, uh, we, we took a look at, you scored a little lower on this one. I understand how to build convictions. I know how to hate evil. Uh, no, in fact, you were pretty strong in those. The first one that you were weaker in was, I know how to explain the Trinity or the Godhead. And so you scored a two on that one. Mm -hmm. And then you went down some more fives. And then I have a life purpose statement was more of a two. I have a life plan. I know God's part in planning. And then you moved on through. I, I can teach the doctrines of the Bible. That was kind of like, uh, that was weaker. And, yeah. and some fours on grasping the word and the rest were fives. So when you look at that, which of those would you like to visit when you see that? Because I'm going to kind of take you through a little training on how to use this tool to dig in a little deeper into each of these areas? Well, let's see. I would really like to know and understand the major doctrines in the Bible. Okay, very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna illustrate that when we go back to the assessments, we're gonna go back now and we're going to stages and we're gonna to go to the child stage, okay? You with me? Okay. So all right, and then there's a little video that I've done just explaining these stages, and then you can kind of come down through here. And when you're dealing with a child, we want you to notice that a child needs to learn how to do the right thing. So what's the right thing for a follower of Jesus? We teach you how to feed yourself and the basic disciplines of growth. And so this is what this child stage does. And so as you work through these, and you scored pretty high on some of these, but down here in the area of the doctrines, the word doctrine, that was number, let's see, it's right there. Doctrines of the Bible, you see that right there? Okay. That's, I can explain the major doctrines. And, and so what makes knowing the doctrines of the Bible valuable to your everyday life? What do you think? Well, I think that you can explain to people who ask you questions better. Mm -hmm. You know, when people bring up a question about, my faith or about God, or I'm talking to somebody and explaining how I have lived my life and how he has walked me through it, it would be nice to 
understand how to teach them what I know. Okay, very good. And so that's another word for doctrine is teaching. So what are the teachings of the Bible? So you memorized 2 Timothy 3.16, didn't you? 2 Timothy 3.16 is... The word. The word. Oh, he who has my commandments. Yep, the other one. That's good. You got that. That's the obedience one. The word is all scripture. Oh, yes. Second Timothy 3.16. All yes. scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Okay, very good. So you see, there's the word doctrine mentioned. So all scripture is profitable for doctrine or teaching. And so when you want to do that, this little tool right here, I can explain the major doctrines of the Bible. You'll notice uh -huh. that in the tool, if you wanted to click on 2 Timothy 3.16, it will actually take you to that Bible verse and you can look at it. And so that's the new little tool we've built in there. And then if you come back here then to this section, there's also a core doctrine teachings in the Bible where if you looked at them, this would be a whole page of the doctrines of the Bible. And so you can kind of take a quick look at those doctrines. So I'm going to uh, take, so you just, I just wanted to show you that those things are sitting in there for your uh, understanding about the different doctrines of the Bible. This is not exhaustive. This is just some major doctrines to be aware of. Okay. Okay. Now, what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to this, this sheet is a worksheet. So you notice what I'm doing is I'm taking you to the area that you wanted to work on, which is the doctrines. And then I'm taking you now to a, a PDF that is going to help understand those doctrines together. Okay. Okay. See how I'm using this particular area? So yeah. if, if you put a three on an area, you can go here on your own and click that area and begin to study this little page underneath it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. So this is a little story that uh, we won't spend time going through that story. But uh, it just kind of explains a little bit about the doctrines of the Bible. And so then what we're going to do is we're actually going to coach the Bible by digging into this passage of 2 Timothy 3.16, which is all scripture is inspired by God, prophet for doctrine, reproof, correction, training, and righteousness. Now, as you look at this, the first question of discussion, which you could do yourself or it can be something I do with you. So I'm going to ask you these questions. And you look at it, what are the most critical doctrines that one needs to know in the Bible? Can they just, did anything pop to your mind at that point in time? Um, First John 5, 11 and 12. Okay. That's, and this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Okay, so that's a teaching. And that fits under a doctrine which would be called salvation. Okay. So that doctrine or that teaching would fit under the category of salvation. Now, is it the only verse in the Bible that talks about salvation? No. No. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. And so that's where doctrines come from is that this takes a subject and you begin to look at all the scriptures that are under that particular subject of salvation. Okay. Well, that does kind of help too. You see how that works? And yeah. if, you went to, if you went to Bible school or seminary, they would call that soteriology, which is the Greek word for salvation. Oh, okay. So it's the study of salvation. Ology is study of, and soteriology is the study of salvation. Christ, the truth. So the other doctrine, that would be the deity of Christ is a doctrine, is and that's Jesus is God. The triune of God, that God is a three-person Godhead. Mm -hmm. then the authority of the Bible is a doctrine. All scripture is inspired. So that would be something that gives us what the Bible teaches about itself. Salvation by grace. Forgiveness of sins. The return of Christ. The power of the presence of the Holy Spirit. 
So those are some suggested teachings in the Bible. There's a okay. whole bunch more. There's doctrine about sin. There's doctrine about man. There's doctrine about evil. But the Bible is filled with teachings that have been pulled together under topical sections so that you can understand the whole Bible's teaching about that subject. Okay. What happens sometimes is a person can take a teaching from one verse you know, such as uh, Jesus, I mean, Judas went out and hung himself, but that doesn't teach that we should all go out and hang ourselves. That's just what happened, you know. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but someone might miscue that one and tell, well, we need to do that. No, but that's not a good idea. So that's why doctrine. So when you think about, so when you think of, this number two question, which of the doctrines do you feel you have supporting number of verses for? So you think about the verses you've memorized and let's just take another one uh, that's on the wheel, such as uh, the doctrine of, of 2 Corinthians 5.17 on the wheel. What does that teach us? 2 Corinthians 5.17 on the wheel. And Christ the center. Christ the center. I have been crucified with Christ. Well, I'm just so, drawing a blank here. Yeah, so I'm crucified I'm, with Christ. It's no longer I who live. Oh, okay. It is that one. <laughs> I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And this, this life, which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and died for me. Mm -hmm. So this, again, is a doctrine about salvation. Salvation. It shows who died for me, who paid the price. And so I'm, I'm not, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live. And so that deals with the whole idea of what you have been saved. Right. It, it also gives you that other verse in there. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. New things have become. So that's teaching you about Christ and what happens to us when we put our faith in Christ. We right. become new creatures. Yes, we do. So, so, so what you do is you think of a teaching in the Bible. So you go, what do I know about the Holy Spirit? Any verses come to mind? For the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. um, you remember Acts 1-8 in the, the witnessing spoke? You shall receive power. I don't know if that's in the witnessing Oh, maybe that's not in there. The so witness. Got... No. That's all right. So that's okay. So you can think of any other, but what you're doing is you're, you're glowing into your mind and you're seeing what verses support different doctrines. Yeah, that's what I, uh... <laughs> that's what I need to figure out. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. I need to put all those in categories because I know them but I don't have them in the category. So when the questions come up, I have to search. That's and, right. you know, Very just good. like you're asking me these questions, I'm trying to find them in my mind and put them in the right category. Very good. So this just illustrates where you want to grow in, Alan. So that's a perfect piece of why you take a look at these doctrines and you see what Bible verses support them. So that can be some good steps, but let's take a look at some of the other actions that are in here that we can go forward in, in terms of accountability. What steps would you need to take to strengthen your doctrinal foundation? So that's exactly what was revealed. I need to get that stronger. What doctrines are harder for you to understand, such as ecclesiology, which is the study of the future about the return of Christ? I know that Jesus is coming back, but I couldn't tell you any verses that tell us. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. You see, but you know it, but you're not quite sure where you would find verses that tell us that. Right. right. Dead will be saved. 
Well, yeah, it's explaining to people that that's that right. premise mm -hmm. is the hard part. Okay, good. So, so as part of your growth as a young uh, a child of God, that tells us an area we've got to work on and right. strengthen that for you. Okay. And so that's, that's going to be right ahead of us. And there's some, some other books and studies and things that we can strengthen with you. And if you go back now in terms of building your conviction, it sounds like I, I need to get better at that. And so that's going to be an action step in terms of moving forward. So let me go back here to this convictions then area as a child of God. So you're back here. And if you looked over here, here's a simpler list that you might want to print out in terms of statement of faith. We believe that the scriptures of the Old and New Testament are inspired by God in inerrant original writings, and they are supreme and final authority. So one thing that we could do is put some verses of scripture on each one of these to help strengthen your original doctrinal thinking. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> now, if you want, you can print this out yourself on your own computer, and then you could go to your concordance and you could look for verses or you could even go to Bible Gateway or even Google. And you go to Google and say, Google, give me some verses <coughs> on uh, the Bible and its authority. And so the Google would pop out some verses for you. And, uh, okay. and if you can't, we'll just, in our next meeting together, we'll put some in there. In, God, in one God, the creator. Where's a verse that talks about God being the creator? Well, in Genesis. That's it. <laughs> in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So <laughs> that's a verse of scripture. And then eternally existing in three persons. That's the Trinity. And then Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, there's a whole bunch of verses that explain that one. Okay. Okay. So you see what okay. we're doing is we're going to be intentionally building these basics into your thinking to give you stronger foundation in your teaching of the word of God. All scripture is inspired by God, profitable for teaching. So we're going to need to strengthen that part of your life. Yes. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what this whole training is. So you did the assessment. You took a look at where you were in your journey. Mm -hmm. And over the next days ahead, we're going to build this stronger. And if you'll notice the last um, 13 of 12 through 17 is actually the wheel illustration. So everything we've been working on, that's what those last ones are. Okay. But there's okay. verses and worksheets on each one. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't really delved into yet is, is using your this app as a yeah. tool. Yeah, so I wanted to show you that it's there and we can be having fun working through it. Yeah. Yeah part of the journey and then what happens alan is as you get comfortable with this uh -huh. that's what happens when you give somebody this assessment i can help teach it Aha. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we want to illustrate is right now you can teach the commitments because those are pretty solid but you might want to go back through each one of those and download the worksheet and say could i teach that to somebody else back in the child in the baby stage yeah does that make sense? Yeah, okay. That does make sense. Okay, so that's what the Coach the Bible is there for, is to help you get stronger in giving it away, but also showing you where we need to get you stronger also. I like it. All right, well, thanks for your teachable spirit. And so we'll close this out right now, and I'm going to stop the share, and then we'll uh, wrap this little training time up. All right. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. And we'll look forward to our next time. I think we're going to do some training in the days ahead on how to share the gospel bridge illustration.